mid-season premiere time with Chaos Battle. Um, <laughs> this one is going to be structured quite a bit differently, simply because of how close this actually is, as shocking as that is. Uh, we yeah, have... we did. You may disagree with that, but we did a lot of uh, you know, conversations about this, and uh, it's quite similar. Yeah, so we have Kata Curry versus Woo. Spider-Man from Earth-616, and we're going to be breaking this down by categories of punching strength, pure strength, durability, speed, the equipment, versatility slash adaptability, ESP and future sense, and battle tactics and intelligence. Um, we have Red debating for Katakuri and Noble for Spidey. Best mochi boy. Uh, <laughs> Not a lot of competition. Yeah, there really is, and I'm just thankful we don't have Thurman here sucking his mochi dick. Well, you know, Thurman's probably more oogling over the uh, the gender bent version that I. <laughs> now he can finally, you know, be into Katakuri without you know damaging his fragile masculinity that is very true um he was real yeah and i will edit that up so yeah take, it, that'll be ended up as like a little easter egg there uh but <laughs> gentlemen uh start debating all right what do you want to start with first noble what category let's go ahead and start with pure striking strength wrong <laughs> all right you want to go first or me i'll go ahead and take the wheel okay. so I'm debating Spider-Man Earth 616, aka Peter Parker, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, if you don't know. Um, <laughs> basically, Spider-Man, of course, you know, he has quite a bit of strength in him. Um, he's gotten a couple of different feats as far as his actual striking strength, you know, knocking out different people, beating people. Um, and I'm going to go over a couple with you right now. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to start with just some simple ones. Um, there are a couple of them here where he's punched different characters or knocked characters through walls, things like that. Like he's punched the Punisher through a wall, like straight through the wall, knocks him right through. He's mm. been known to uh, knock people out with just his fingers. So he's literally knocked people out with his fingers. He's knocked out uh, a character named Tombstone. This character tanked a rocket launcher earlier in the same story. So he has the punching strength equivalent to a rocket launcher. And I've also got another clip here where he literally punches with greater power than a mortar. And it's described through the actual scene. Basically, he punches through acrylic plastic that's designed to withstand mortar fire. And he punches right through it. So, I mean, he's got a pretty powerful punch that he can just knock right through things. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the striking portion right there with that. Um, well, Katakuri, and just to kind of introduce him, because, you know, everyone knows Spider-Man, but with Katakuri, uh, he's basically a, he's a, he's the second strongest member of the Big Mom Pirates. He's uh, kind of like the um, second command, you know, right-hand man, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> um, second eldest son of Big Mom herself. And uh, what his unique little thing is, well, there's two unique things about him. Number one is that he's made out of mochi. Uh, yes, that's a thing. That's a thing that uh, <laughs> can happen in One Piece. He's made out of the mochi. Um, but number two, and uh, honestly, ironically, the mochi, not his biggest, craziest thing. His craziest thing is that he can see, uh, good from my estimations, a good five or ten seconds into the future. Um, and uh, he does this through something called observation hockey, which is uh, in One Piece, a thing that normally allows you to just kind of, you know, sense attacks that are coming, you know, generally or sense you know, just what's around you, but he's trained it to the point where he's able to see it you know, a bit into the future. Now, uh, that's just kind of his introduction to what, he's, what he does. Um, now, striking strength-wise, let me... <laughs> um, so here's something I find interesting, right? So in, in One Piece, there's a thing called arm in hockey. And throughout this fight with Luffy and Katakuri, we have actually seen that Katakuri is one of the first... Actually, not one of them. He is the first character in the series to show an advanced level of arm and hockey essentially arm and hockey being like a a hardened armor that you can put around your body or anywhere in your body katakuri what katakuri did um in this fight is something that no one else had done before he had an arm and hockey that was actually harder and had a different effect um than others so think like super saiyan 2 of arm and hockey you know super saiyan 2 the re the way you could like tell it was super saiyan 2 is it had the little electric effect it's kind of like that, but for Arm and Hockey. There was a slightly different effect around it. And when he punches Luffy's hand, and I'm going to send this to a scan right now. When he punches Luffy's hand, you can see in the bottom in the bottom there, 
you, Luffy's hand is hurt from that. This is not normal in One Piece because normally when you have Armin Hockey on, that's the point of Armin Hockey. It defends you from, from, from like attack, you know, like, like harmful, you know, hits. Um, and normally when you clash Armin Hockey, Armin Hockey, like clash him. normally, you know what I mean? But he has a uh, harder Armin Hockey. And there is, you know, and he does say this there are levels beyond that you don't know about. Uh, now, here's, uh, if we use power scaling here, and I really enjoy this. <clears throat> this is a giant that Luffy, the previous arc, like roughly 100 chapters before this fight, Luffy knocked out this huge giant, okay? With the normal arm and hockey he has. And this is a giant who was able to withstand a dude whose power it is changes weight. So this guy came down, you can read it here, with 10,000 pounds of, of force. And, you know, you can see the giant struggling, but he does manage to withstand it. So, if we scale here and say Luffy with his lesser arm net hockey was able to take him down. And then you see that Katakuri with, has, you know, with harder arm net hockey, you see, um, you can kind of at least scale to the point where, like, get a semi-idea of what kind of striking strength I can have. Um, a couple other things. Uh, hold on. Um, there is a there is a particular clash that Luffy has with Katakuri, and one of the things Katakuri <clears throat> kind of does in this fight, in this entire fight, is basically try to prove to Luffy that he's better than him in every way. Luffy's rubber, he's mochi. Mochi's more malleable. So you have a th uh, things where like Luffy has a thing where he's able to like <clears throat> bite into his thumb, blow air into it, make his fist huge, and then punch, and his fist is huge and it does more damage. Katakuri is like, well, I can, I can um, do that way better. So here's a clash that they have here, um, where you see Luffy's hand um, in the uh, you know the, the lower like uh, lower like mid mid right there. That's Luffy's hand, much smaller. And then you can see Katakuri's much 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 bigger one, um, because he just easily casually was like, oh okay, well I can just make it bigger. And the and the reason he can make his um, you know he can just create matter out of nowhere like that you know or Moshi out of nowhere is because he's awakened. Uh, this is a form you achieve with a devil fruit once you've trained enough with it. And, and it makes sense. He's like in his <clears throat> 40s and Luffy's only like 19, I think, at this point. Um, to give you some context, by the way, that punch that Luffy, um, you know, that punch that Katakuri casually deflected, um, Luffy's like seemingly smaller one is roughly, this is a, another, this is a scale of uh, about the size of what, what that Luffy's, Luffy's punch is. Um, uh, you know, that, that's a, usually a gear third punch. That's the first time you ever used gear third was uh, that size. So we're thinking it's roughly, you know, building it's, size. It's, yeah, exactly. Uh, and he just casually kind of like upped it. Um, Similar from large truck to small building. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. But yeah, yeah. So you get the idea. Um. And um. Let's see for stri other things for actual just striking strength. Uh. I think those are the best examples of striking strength. I like the comparison of the giant thing. I think that was a good thing that I had found that I didn't find earlier. Um. And we're not talking about equipment yet. I'm not going to talk about his spear stuff until we get to the equipment section. So uh, I think I think I'll I think I'll end off my section there. All right. So David, do you want to call a win for the striking, or do you want to wait till the end? I will wait till the end to uh, tally all this up. Okay. David, do you want to at least lead into the next categories? Which categories you want to go through in your order? I think order? what we'll do is that at the, after we've kind of gone through all of these, at, at the end we'll be like, well, that's when we'll kind of start going through them. Our, I think what we'll do is we'll, we, we say the things, and at the end we'll go through them ourselves and argue, and then after we're arguing about those, David will call, like, what he thinks. Uh -huh. Does that sound good? That sounds Perfect. good to me. All right, um, cool. Let's go What's to next? the pure strength now. Right the, the regular strength, like, what they can take and fucking dish out normally not punching but other not just the punch basically their actual strength like maybe think of it as lifting strength or something along the oh, way. okay uh and i'll go ahead and take off the lead here so spider-man of course is a very strong character i mean he's not by far the strongest in marvel but marvel has quite a few heavy hitters and he is not that far down below some of those bigger characters um, I'm going to use a couple of things just to give you an idea of just his pure overall strength. Um, he's been known to lift heavy objects and hold heavy objects. Um, here's a shot of him supporting a jet while it's trying to land. I'm going to set this 
And I just want to make sure because you know how composite shit is. You're, all of this that you're sending is the same Spider-Man. Spider-Man 616, Peter Parker, which, of course, is the strongest version of Spider-Man. So, I mean, he, he is the strongest Spider-Man in this, in a sense. Really? I mean, there are others with a lot of other technology that I use would, more technology. You know, in fucking Marvel, there's like a Spider-Man that's like a god and he's gone to space, blah, blah, blah. No, all, all this, he's the strongest base Spider-Man. But a lot of the Spider-Mans that you see, like, the stupid good feats for are using tech. Mm. Think Brainiac level. Brainiac's a strong guy, but because of his brain, his science, his math, he's that much more deadly. Okay. Like Miles so, Morales and the... Exactly. Uh, Miles Morales can be considered more powerful in a lot of respects, but not physical strength, not pure... Exactly. Spider-Man. He uses. He relies a lot more on technology. And so does uh, 2099... Um, yep, same concepts. With insanely advanced tech, though, instead of the normal baseline Stark technology, essentially. Okay, so anyways, um, as I was just saying, I'm going to also send a couple other clips here, or grabs. Basically, his strength, like I said, he supports a jet while trying to land. Um he holds up a crane, so one of those gigantic boom cranes. I'm going to send that right now as well. No, Actually, this is with his own strength, not web? This is with his physical strength. He's using the web to hold it, but he's holding it up with his arms. Understandable. Uh, now, here's my only issue when it comes to, like, talking about this back. Katakuri doesn't really do a lot of, like, lifting feats in what we've seen him. It's usually, like, fighting. You know what I mean? Like, he, we just haven't seen it, so it's hard to kind of gauge. I'm not sure what I'm going to say back to this. Or knocking things back, things like that would be a good um, way to do it. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, I got you, I got you. All right. Makes sense. Well, that's yeah, yeah, well, a good thing. I, I got to think. Like, go ahead. Think like throwing opponents in the air type deal. Mm-hmm. Or... Oh, okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, literally... yeah, that. I get you. Not just a punch, but like, uh, hey, I'm going to send you to the fucking atmosphere type deal. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and okay. continue what you're doing. All right. So anyways, as I was saying, so he's got quite a few different strength feats. Um, I've already talked about him catching the plane while it's trying to land. He's held up a crane. Um, he's, of course, caught a truck that was being thrown at him. I want to say it was a uh, – let me pull this back up here. Let's see. He catches an armored car. So not just a truck, an actual armored car. So, I mean, he literally catches a gigantic armor, and you know those things aren't light. It's not like, you know, your mm-hmm. dad's type deal. It's, it's an armored car. Okay. Um, and of course, to give you an idea, he's throw, he throws the Punisher several hundred feet up in the air. And it's a casual <laughs> toss, too. Huh. So, let me get that pulled up here. But those are just some ideas. Like I said, he's – and this is not even – like the the strength of his web or anything like that. This is literally just his strength. Okay. Are you sending all these? Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm downloading them all at one go. So oh, I just perfect. Okay, cash. cool. So they come in as different messages. So that way, all of these are sent as different things. Gotcha. Gotcha. So they're all sending right now. So you can look through to verify. All right. They're all up. Hmm. Okay. But like That's I said, he's a strong character. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. I mean, I mean he's not the Hulk, but mm-hmm. now what do you think? Now, how do you think we could compare that to the um what I said earlier about like if we were to scale with like him being able to block a Luffy punch, which you know fucked up a giant who could withstand a ten thousand pound punch? Like, like if we scale that, like, what what do you think in that aspect? I'm sure. I'm sure Spider Man could probably tank a couple of them, but I don't know if he'd be able to tank mm-hmm. them or something. No, like obviously, I know that Spider Man would be fantastic at dodging. He'd be using his web. Obviously, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm yeah. basically what I'm saying is I don't think it'd be a one punch KO. Well, of course, yeah, I agree with you. But it okay. it probably wouldn't take a lot of them to take him down. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, so <clears throat> here's a couple. Th- so with with mine, um, I got a couple things uh, for that. So number one. The dude can flick jelly beans so fast that they're basically bullets, <laughs> uh, which I find hilarious. Um, he does kill He straight up kills people. So it's not like they're hitting him. They're hitting them hard and knocking them out. Like, they go through. <laughs> they're being killed. Um, <clears throat> and uh, 
So I just find that fucking hilarious. <laughs> Uh, you gotta stick to your aesthetic. You, you know, you're in a candy land. You might as well use jelly beans. Why not? Okay. Here is him grabbing Luffy. You know, he so with this attack because he's mochi, but also hard. He, he well, he's mochi, and then he hardens it with arm and hockey, so it's like a it hurts, but he also sticks to him. He grabs Luffy. I get fucking Discord to work. <laughs> he grabs Luffy, sticks him to his arm, whips him all the way up there, and and then brings him fucking down. Brings. him fucking down here it comes <laughs> so i mean there's a there's a sizable crater that he can make with that um that's probably the best uh that we saw in the fight that he because keep in mind at this point katakuri he's like a 50 chapter old character so we all we really saw with katakuri is we saw a couple like basically like scuffles he had where he basically dominated like a like a bunch of like people that you know aren't necessarily weak but aren't necessarily main characters either he dominated easily a couple people and then he had like a 20 chapter long fight with Luffy that's all I have to go on it's gotta occur. Um, so this is probably best throwing like like and like throwing into I mean you have moments where he like um, do you want me to talk spear yet or not Cause since that kind of goes into his you can absolutely by all means okay. so spear if we're because this is his striking strength Um, he has a move um, that he calls mochi thrust where he uh, he twists up his arm with his mochi uh, so much that when he stabs the spear, it's kind of like basically just like a, a drill point. Like, pew, you know, like, like think like it just fucking goes through the wall like butter here. So let me find that. And the reason I'm sending them as I'm talking about them is because I want you to be able to react to them, you know. Um, so here's that. This is um, a good fucking example of just, you know, the <laughs> clean slice he does there uh, with a, a spinning drill. You know, nothing, like nothing. Um, uh, a couple a couple more things. I guess, actually, this... so there's another attack he has called Grilled Mochi. Again, names, don't fucking ask me. <laughs> and um, this is another, I think, a good example of... This is a really good example of what he can do uh, if I can get a good... Show. Yeah, yeah, okay. So here's Grilled Mochi where he um <laughs> he blows to, from what I'm looking at here, it looks like he blows air. He he hardens his fist with arm and hockey, which is what keeps it hard, right? But then mm-hmm. he, he leaves the rest of his arm um normal mochi and he like somehow blows air into his arm where it'll kind of like blow dart his fist off, and then he can just regenerate it, obviously. So here is that. Um and you can see it goes through an entire pillar and collapses it. Like you can kind you see the line that it takes at the bottom there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, there's so there's a couple examples of the kind of stuff he can do. Next category. Sure, let's talk speed. Because yeah. I know that's the one you've been wanting to get into. So speed is interesting with both of these characters. Um, one of the reasons we brought these characters together is because you have Spidey sense with Spider-Man and um, Katakuri's precog stuff with you know his uh, observation hockey. So um, speed will be a little bit interesting to talk about because it's not just speed, but it's also kind of uh, involving the precog in that as well. Exactly. So that's going to be part of it. Um, I'll go ahead and start on this one. All right. And then I'll let you uh, talk a little bit about speed as well. Um, do you want to talk speed and precog in the same go? Or yeah, like... I think they should be together. Okay, perfect. So, um, of course, talking speed. Uh, I've got a couple of scans that I went ahead and pulled up real fast. Um, so just to give you an idea of just how ridiculously fast Spider-Man can be, because that is he's he's a strong character, but he's also an incredibly fast character. Um, I've got a couple here. The first one I'm going to go over is he stops rockets from exploding with his web huh? midair. He stops them. He's moved out of bullets out of the way before. I'm mean, sorry, after they've been fired. So, of course, you know, he's dodged bullets. He's moved out of the way of bullets. He's webbed up bullets after they've been fired. Um, He's also, of course, you know, he's done the whole Batman thing where basically people are watching him. He's managed to elude them and come back up and observe them. So, I mean, like I said, he's a quick character. Uh, He's dodged with after image ability. Uh, He dodges an axe that was thrown at him where the opponent still sees his after image. Daredevil can barely keep track of him in one, and Daredevil uses sound, so I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. But basically, mm-hmm. Daredevil uses the sounds around him, like echolocation, think bat, like a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 3D picture around him at all times, so he sees... Hi! 
everything even though he doesn't actually see so he like he senses everything around him he's one of the highest heightened sensed characters i think second to like wolverine he has one of the best heightened senses when it comes to uh observing people and he's managed to keep daredevil on his toes trying to track him um and of course you know i've got one that's really really good here he fights so fast that he takes down a mind reader because the mind reader can't read his mind fast enough to attack him or to prevent his attacks. So he fights, he actually fights on reflexes a lot more than he actually uses his brain when he's in a, just a straight up brawl. So he actually out moves his own brain. Mm, interesting. Sense. Wait, um, so he moves fast. I'm assuming it's, it's a thing where like he, he's able to like I'm gonna send move this faster right. than are you sending it? I'm sending it all right now, and all I'm interested in that because that kind of reminds me of um, from what you said, it, it makes me think of uh, Godspeed, which is a, a form that Kilua has uh, uh, from Hunter X Hunter, where basically um, just as a quick aside because I think this is interesting, um, mm-hmm. Kilua and Hunter X Hunter are pretty much my favorite character of anything. <clears throat> um, the fifth one from the bottom. Okay, okay, he's able to manipulate electricity. Uh, where and this is I'm talking about Kilo here, not Katakuri, just to clarify. Um, Kilua is able to manipulate electricity, and what he ends up doing is basically he, he figures out that you know, my nerves, my brain sending messages through my spine, through my nervous system to, to like move my body is way slower than electricity. So, what I'll do is I'll, sh- I'll shock my muscles into moving, and then I can react faster <laughs> than my brain would allow me to. Yeah. Yeah, so that is interesting. It's anyways, simple. I'll actually read the excerpt here. Which so, one is it again? Which one? It's the fifth one from the bottom. You'll see uh, someone in a green cloak. Okay, gotcha. So this character is a mind reader, okay? And All right. I'll go ahead and read this for you here because I'm not you sure how well you can. one who can read your mind and literally react with the speed of thought. But you <laughs> can't pinpoint a target with spider speed and reflexes before he thinks. Oh, I'm reading it. Wait, am I reading this right? Okay, I want to make sure I was reading this right. Interesting. Before you think, my I never. Huh. So explain to me in, in your mind how how that's how that that's working exactly because it's not it's kind of vague on like how he's doing it. It's not really explaining. Basically, just... he's moving so fast because he's moving as a reactive. Then mm, he's actually... okay. So he's not. So it's not, he's not thinking. I'm gonna punch here. His body punches and he's reacting, like he's moving with. Does that make so sense? He's not necessarily t- thinking of it's more he went on instinct essentially. I'm not saying ultra instinct, but No, I didn't say ultra instinct. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cue the ultra instinct music right now. <laughs> I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in. I'm fucking Spider Man gift. I'm putting ultra instinct over it. <laughs> but um basically he moves that extremely fast. The other thing I've got here is he also perceives a building falling in slow motion. And I sent Ooh. a clip for that as well. So like I said, I mean, he's perceiving and moving exceptionally fast. And I'm not saying, you know, he's like the Flash or anything like that, but he does perceive time a little bit slower and can move and react much faster. And that's just mm. basic. I mean, he's also, his agility is top tier when it comes to Marvel. I think he's in the top three or top five when it comes to agility. Just straight, you know, ability to maneuver, to dodge. And that's a lot of where his spider sense comes in. He moves on reflex. So, for instance, he senses danger. He reflexes immediately. He can sense what's happening, what's going on around him, and adapt to it. That's how, that's how he prevents, you know, something that would be a fatal, a fatal attack for one person. He gets by with a graze or he doesn't get hit. So that's one of his biggest abilities is being as agile as he is, as fast as he is, and utilizing his spider sense, which basically, think of it as like a, uh, like if you wore a little buzzer on your head that just starts buzzing as danger comes and it gets more and more mm-hmm. closer to danger. Yeah. And it okay. kind of sounds like buzzing, let's say it's buzzing on the back of his head. He knows something's coming that way. Hmm. Okay, interesting. He senses danger. He senses gunshots, for instance, before he hears them. He senses a punch before it's thrown or as it's being thrown. 
he senses threats. He senses hostility. He <clears throat> like hairs on the back of his head. But, all right, that makes sense. Um. Okay. So here's. Uh. So you you just mentioned um kind of like doing doing stuff instinctually, right? <clears throat> Uh, funny you mentioned that. So as I've talked about before, Arminet hockey thing in one piece, and it's you you know, it's signified by like a black symbol. Or like like in in one piece, you have Arminet hockey, which is like as I mentioned before, which is like the hardening, and you, you see like a it it goes black over where they put it. <clears throat> so this is a this is a punch that Katakuri actually um did not notice because this is when Luffy is using um something called Snake Man. As, as I and, and I explained this to you, Noble, earlier, but for the video. Snake Man is a thing where Luffy's able to basically he punches, and but he's able to change the direction of his fist mid punch um, through One Piece logic, and I won't go into it here, but it, it makes sense if you read it. <clears throat> but he's able to like change the direction of his of his punch, you know, boom, 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 you know, as many times as he wants to within a reason, I suppose. Um, but I've seen him do it like within this fight, I saw him do it at least within one punch five to ten times. You know, like he can just kind of the, 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 the whole he can do the heat seeking punch. What say again? Think of it like a heat-seeking punch, like yeah, a yeah, actually, yeah. heading towards him, change direction, change direction. Yep, and and the, the whole kind of concept of it is like if you dodge, I can just keep fucking coming, right? Um, but that that's a thing Luffy can do to clarify. Now, uh, so this is a punch that Katakuri did not notice because using his future sight, he thought he dodged the original, and then Luffy, you know, changed directions and hit him, right? But even though he didn't notice it, you can see there on his cheek. He's instinctually put that um, that that hardening on there, right? So he has stuff like that as well. Um, I think it's probably just being so being so battle hardened. I assume like the second he fucking like felt any contact, the millisecond he probably fucking hardened up his cheek. <clears throat> now, speed wise, um, one of my favorite ones to bring up is I gotta find it. Where the fuck is it? Okay, so this is a this is a attack attack called Black Mamba. Uh, this is from Luffy called Black Mamba, um, and basically. It's a, a it's a version of Gatling, which is what Luffy does, where he punches so fast it looks like he has multiple arms. He doesn't, but he's punching so fast that it looks like he does. So after and, image uh, type deal. Say again. So like an after image type deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he's punching so fast, so he calls it Gatling because it looks like he has a million. It looks like he has like a ten, you know like ten twenty arms when really it's just he's punching so fast. Yeah. Um. So it's already fast, right? It's already fast enough to do that. This is where he adds Snake Man into it. So not only is it looks like it has a bunch of arms. It's also all of these arms are doing the thing where it changes direction and shit, right? So think that, what I just explained about Gatling, right? This is him fucking dancing around this shit. It's one of my favorite feats from God of Curry. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. He just sw swim, slide, dip, dick, dodge. I said dick. <clears throat> you know, think that dodgeball movie. Nice one, son. You'll be an all-star yet. Just remember the five Ds of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and... Dodge. Like duck, duck, dive. What is it again? I haven't been too long. <laughs> you, you ever watched that dodgeball movie? It's fucking hilarious. <clears throat> yes. What Everybody, is it? Fuck. Or nobody has. Duck, dive. What dodge a you can dodge a ball. Yeah, if you can dodge a fucking rubber fist, you can dodge anything. Look, look at him. <laughs> so yeah, in this in this fucking scam, he, again, you have already fast Gatlin after images because they're so fast. And he's changing the direction to try to hit him. And this is Katakuri literally dancing around it. And then in the bottom panel there, that's him fucking kicking him square in the face. So he just dances around that shit. And that's one of Luffy's fastest attacks in the story to date. Because he specifically clarified that this form is basically like, it's like a previous form he had that was already fast, but the faster version of it. He says this in the series. It's like, this is, this is a form for speed. And he fucking dances around this shit. Um, prove, moving on to precog shit. Um, you have shit where he's, you know, pulling a fucking, uh, which JoJo was it that, it was Joseph that was doing the fucking, I know what you're going to say shit. Oh, I forgot, I forgot Noble, do you not watch JoJo? Not really. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, well, but anyway. Go ahead. If we're talking about precog, there's one thing that I definitely have to bring up real fast. Go ahead. I just, I just want to throw this out there for our Star Wars fans. There is a scene where he senses a disturbance in the force and ah. i'm thinking that it is canon too i had to do it what so that is that is coming and it Wait, is canon i'm confused what spider-man senses a disturbance in the force or in the universe <laughs> what 
Yes, and it is canon. It <clears throat> is, in fact, canon. I sense some bullshit. Either way. So just to, just to show you kind of the, the lengths that he can go to to um, fucking see into the future. So here's him uh, fucking, like, you know, doing the whole, like, here's what you're going to say, shit. You will say, fine, I understand. But, um, and then an even more impressive one, in my opinion, is... Uh, <laughs> it's canon. Hold on, it hold might on. be canon, but god damn, I wish I could even <laughs> see this. Hold on, okay, okay. So, so on, and, and this, shut the fuck up. And this one, this is one of my favorites, right? Where he, he basically goes through an entire scenario. You have this guy who was going to try to like come and assassinate shit, and like he, he cuts him off by flicking a jelly bean and killing him. And he's like, here's what he, you know, here's what, what the rest of the shit he was going to say. And then he literally goes through it. What you think Big Bob sent me? She sent me this. I'm going to take my revenge. Open the gate. Then he shoots his gun. Then two of your subordinates get hit. It, like, he literally, that's like, that's the amount that he's seeing in the future. And that's like what people are saying. It's not just actions. It's literally what people are saying and doing. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so that's for, uh, for Precog. You have that. And one of my favorites. This feat is sexy as fuck to me. Oh, well, actually, before I get to that, I gotta save save off for a second. <laughs> this is um, this is something that Kotek Curry does, where because he's made out of mochi, um, he's not actually intangible. He can be hit, but because he's made out of mochi and because he's able to see so far into the future, what he does is he actually like morphs his body around the hits to make it look like, to make it look like he's intangible. That's kind of what he um, and you see you see what he says down there. He says it right there. I can transform to dodge your attacks efficiently. It's all possible if we can see the future of hockey. So he's not actually in, intangible. But what he he tries to psych out his opponents to think he to make them think he's intangible to make them think he's invincible with his future sight. So keep that in mind for Spider Man too. Now obviously he's not an idiot. He's very smart. But just keep that in mind. That's something that he tries to do. Um. Uh. And uh. And one last thing. Uh. Which is this fucking feat. I love it so goddamn much. Um. So this is Luffy. <laughs> You know, you know how you know how in anime or in comics when like you know how people will dodge and do that whole like that like speed like pew, and then like you see the, like the speed lines and then they and they're moving right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. This is Katakuri because of his future sight, kicking Luffy in the middle of doing that speed line thing. Like like you know how nor- like I said normally they do the speed line pew, and then they show up somewhere else, right? This is Katakuri seeing Luffy do the speed line. And and knowing because of his hockey exactly where Luffy's going to show up, he goes over to where he knows Luffy's going to show up and kicks him as he shows up there. I love this fucking panel so much. Look at this. Just enjoy this with me. <laughs> that, is, that is actually pretty good. But yeah. you know what? I'm going to have to one-up you real quick. And I just sent a couple scans as well. Um, I think the best of them... Spider-Man flies a jet with no training whatsoever, just relying solely on his spider sense. On whether or not he's doing the right thing or not. That's interesting, actually. That's, that's really interesting. <laughs> so he could be like, nope, that's wrong. Nope, that's wrong. Exactly. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> and then I've sent one where he uses his spider sense blindfolded and won't run into obstacles. He can literally dodge blindfolded. Ah, oh, damn. And their last one, the spider sense was able to detect a vampire. I don't know if you know this, but vampires are pretty much silent. He was able to detect the instinct of a vampire Morbius attacking him fucking and dodges it. Fully dodges it. That's fucking crazy. Dodge. Can we all just sit, like, like, I'm sitting here thinking One Piece has jumped the shark with a goddamn mochi man, and you're talking about vampires and seeing the force. <laughs> all I'm saying is he felt a disturbance in the space-time continuum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and... Um... So yeah, that's mostly what I have for speed and, and like he he is definitely one of the fastest characters in the verse because Luffy like like what Luffy has done like Luffy has done some crazy speed shit and um and, and here I guess I I'll, I'll throw this in as well like the the, the attacks that 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 Katakuri have dodged pretty easily blitzed a dude that could dodge that 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 um dodged point blank and I will get that that scan up for you real quick here. Um, the last dude he did he did these attacks to was Doflamingo, and he um, he was uh, here. Let me find it. Let me find it. He was casually reacting to meteors. Me, well, not casually. He did sweat a bit, but he, he got him. Uh, hold on a sec. Okay, so here here's a thing just to bring up speed. Okay, so here is an attack that like, and, and you've already seen this one, but just to re- remind you, this is Katakuri. 
seeing the future and letting these attacks phase through him, okay? So, this is Luffy speed blitzing this guy. And, and, and um, I don't have time to find it right now, but I will put it in the video. I can assure you that, that after, the, the, after this panel, he gets fucking kicked in the face and sent across the entire fucking town. <laughs> and he speed blitzes him. And uh, this is a guy who had to react to point blank uh, meteors falling because that was someone's power. So you can see down there, um, the bottom panel is him reacting where he, he his power is string based. So he basically uses these strings to cut that meteor um, to not hit him. So, so if, uh, you know, if that sends anything for speed. Okay. All right. So let's talk intelligence, battle tactics, and equipment. Cause those are all going to pretty much interlace for both Good of shit. our yeah. You've right. already kind of talked a little bit about your tri-pointed spear that he spins like a drill. Uh, yeah, I talked a little bit about it. Um, Did you want to elaborate a little bit? Um, well, you know, th there's not much more to say about the spear. I mean, that's that's his main thing that he does with it. Um, it is, to me, it is, um, like, you know, you, he has his blunt force shit, which is like his punching. And, and as we've seen, you know, you can, he can basically, like, make it any size. He can... He can extend like um a good example. Another good example. Let me actually find it. Is where Luffy um Luffy, you know, as as we've discussed, does the thing where he he says Gatling and he punches really fast, like you know, pretending that he has a bunch of arms. And there's a scene where Katakuri's like, "Wouldn't it be more efficient to do this?" And then he makes actually makes a bunch of arms. Um, see if I can find that scan. If not, I'll obviously put it in the video. Um. But for spear wise, I mean that's mostly all we saw him do with the spear. It is very sharp, and he's able to pierce crazy with it. Um, we saw him gravely injure Luffy by like cutting out a chunk of like like the side of Luffy uh, with it. Um, but yeah, so so spear, I think we're good. Um, when it comes to like diversity, or what was the how did you use the word like how he's able to like be smart with his fighting and shit? So his battle tactics, his uh. His adaptability. Yeah, that one. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do a couple. I'm just going to show you a couple interesting, clever things he's done, right? So here's an attack where he's able to, again, because he's able to make fucking, sh you know, this, he's able to make more legs, make more things because he's, he's so adaptable. Here's an attack where he just makes a bunch of legs and they all stomp down at once. You see up in the, in the upper left there, he mm -hmm. makes a bunch of quickly, a bunch of legs and just stomps them down, down, down at once. A lot, all this is possible because of his awakening where he's able to basically just free mold his body however he wants. Um, uh, okay, uh, thank you. Oh, okay, um, this is a moment with, that I really enjoy where, um, basically, so, so the first time we see him is where he, he's at a wedding and uh, where they're trying to assassinate the groom, and, um, basically, Sanji, the groom, uh, he's, the priest was gonna shoot him, and he, because of his future sight, he sees that Sanji's gonna dodge the priest's bullet. So he, so he's like, okay, he's, he's gonna dodge him, so I'm gonna flick a jelly bean where he's gonna dodge. Now, in this case, Sanji did dodge again. He dodged both, which is just a testament to Sanji's speed because he is one of the best um, speed-wise, especially in their crew. But that's the kind of thing that he can do. He's like, he can kind of see. He's like, okay, he's going to dodge, so I'm going to shoot where he's going to, you know, you know what I mean? So, like, that's kind of cleverness in how he can use his, um, his future side as well. Now, and to be fair, Sanji's, um, Sanji's affinity for hockey is observation as well, so Sanji probably matched, his, uh, matched observation with him to try to, to be able to dodge that as well. Um, it, it, Oda has said, oops, I accidentally just sent a scan. I didn't mean to. I sent that again. Um, Oda has said in the past multiple times, like during, um, he does these little interviews where like fans can ask them questions and they asked him like, oh, what's everyone's in the crew's uh, hockey affinity? And Sanji is the best um, in, in the Straw Hat crew at observation. So it makes sense that he dodged that. But that is a way he can use his observation. Thank you. Okay. So um, here is, so you, I, as I mentioned before with the whole um, awakened thing, he can turn surrounding areas into uh, into mochi. He can basically turn the surrounding area into his element. So this is him beginning to turn the ceiling and walls um, of this area into mochi. And basically, uh, his plan in, during here was to try to suffocate Luffy with a huge pile of mochi, just like bury him under it. So here's that. Here's what he did with that, essentially. <laughs> Um, that's a thing he can do. And I imagine, you know, if you're in a city, he could do that with buildings. He could, you know what I mean? Like same, you know, and, and this is an interesting parallel to Spider-Man's webs, in my opinion. Yeah. Of course, in case this wasn't obvious already, um, unless you actually hit him, like, cause if you hit him, you can damage him. But if he, if he does it himself, like he's molding his body around so he can regenerate from like that thing where he like 
shot the fist off. Uh, so there's that. Oh, okay. Here, here's that scan I was looking for earlier, where he actually, where he's able to make more multiple fists. So like, you know, Luffy does Gatling, he just makes more arm, more fucking arms, <laughs> which is terrifying to me at least, because I mean, like, it, it, I'm not sure how many he could make, but it seems like a fucking lot. Um, the most we've seen is you know stuff like that, and then the kicks and stuff. So you can you know, gauge it to about that. And I'm doing one last overview of this respect thread, and then I will hand it off to you once I have double checked here. Um, power mochi. Let's see. Bring out the mochi giant arm. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm glad I thought of it. Okay. So there is a couple more techniques he has. So um, here's a technique he does called peerless donuts again fucking one piece of weird shit uh he, the man likes donuts so he you know he, he does attacks based off of donuts um and uh this is a kind of like a thing where like he creates rings that look like donuts behind him and then he's able to kind of like like puppet those so like uh in a sense like he punches and then the huge fist behind him punches and it's a lot but you know so and it's a lot bigger and it's using that remember how i told you that that like extra strong extra hard hockey you can tell because it's like more square in shape. So here, I'll just send you that. Um, that this is called Power Mochi and Peerless Donuts, where he's able to Power Mochi is implying that it's harder than the donut. The fact that it's like he's puppeting it from behind here. Um, so there's that, and he can make multiple of these. There's a moment where he creates like um, three or four behind Luffy and starts pummeling him into the ground, and he pummels him into a crater. Um, <clears throat> see if any other techniques here? Grilled Mochi, Diced Mochi is that's that one, right? Um. Oh, okay, more, uh, you know, just clever shit that he does. Those are one of my favorite ones, too. I think this is clever. Use, this is where he uses, like, stuff where he uses his stickiness to, to his advantage here. Um, he has, when there's a, there's a moment where Luffy tries to punch him. He, obviously, he, he, use, he warps his, you know, because he, he sees the future. He warps his body around it and then he, and entangles him in his arm. And kind of, you know, at that point, he basically has Luffy, like, a fucking rubber ball on the end of a rubber band. You know, just like, boom, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so yeah, from everything I've shown you, he, he's a, I think he's a pretty, uh, adaptable, diverse fighter. Okay. All right. All right. So he's definitely got some tactability there, some defenses, you know? All right. Well, let's talk about battle tactics, shall we? And just intelligence overall. So I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, of course, Spider-Man's web and wall crawling abilities that he uses in mm -hmm. battle. These are literally his his linchpins. Like he uses this and relies on it fairly heavily. Um, to give you an idea, he's used wall crawling to quite an extent. I'm going to send some scans here and go over them. So I think it'll be easier if I just send them real fast. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, this is the part where we had discussed <clears throat> a bit of the limitations of Spider-Man's arsenal there. So mm -hmm. I want to remind you uh, what we were talking about when we discussed this battle and pitched it. Uh, the cartridges is, are what he's using, correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. I did want to bring that up. Yeah. So what is his standard capacity for cartridges? And you can't, like, I'm assuming neither of these characters are pre-prepared for this battle. It's like Exactly. A, That's why I want to bring so this up. While we're what would he normally stage. be bringing out? Normally, I know he carries at least one refill with him. Um, mm -hmm. a, standard, a standard cartridge usually lasts him in, in a battle, um, typically at least a battle or two. Um, the only time I can recall him running out in the middle of a battle was a all-across New York battle when he was traveling across the city by web swinging. Okay. It wasn't so, that I mean, against Dr. Hawk? Bit, it took quite a bit of web for him to burn through it all. Yeah. No, I can believe that. I'm sure it's pretty compact. Um, I think so, that, <clears throat> and obviously I'll let you get into your thing, but I think uh, once we get into our argument section, to come down. That's going to play a role in it too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because it seemingly, it see okay, because here's the thing, right? What I will say is devil fruits are connected to stamina. So, so as long as Katakuri's stamina is there, Katakuri can continue to create mochi, make the buildings around him mochi. Uh, but also, what needs to be said is that this is a man who fought Luffy for, I, I don't know the exact, I, I need, let me go find the time, but I believe, it, let me think. I know oh, it was somewhere okay. between eight, eight and ten hours straight okay. um, of, of, of fighting before they passed out. Right. Okay, cool. So he, has, he has some fucking stamina. Exhaustion, correct? Say again? They both passed out from exhaustion, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, the first scan I sent was a 
image of him creating a telescope with prehistoric items. Literally, he used oh prehistoric items and created the telescope. This, he, was stuck, he was transported back into the Stone Age. Huh. So what, just, what? just how crafty what? he is. What's the middle part that he used? Hi. Uh, it's in there somewhere. I didn't read the um, details, but he goes over it. The second scheme I sent was him creating a, an explosive mm-hmm. 15 times more powerful than TNT on the fly. Fucking MacGyver. Pretty much. The third scan I sent by accident, so you can disregard that. No, okay, nope. The fourth scan is him falling from a building and using his wall crawling ability to stop his fall. Mm. One hand. Okay, so that's pretty powerful shit. The second or the next scan on there is him holding on to a speeding train going 186 miles an hour with three fingers. <laughs> is that a fucking that the hit on his hands that let him do that? It's pretty fucking powerful. Well, because I don't know how accurate yeah. it is. I, I'm not the, the only the best part. Um, I'm I'm about to get into that here in a second. The the one below that, so the next scan, uh-huh. this is him using his ability to to do multiple math calculations like at, at an unbelievable speed to the point where he's able to calculate how much force it takes to knock out a load-bearing wall to drop down at just the right time to take the guy down. Jeez. So without the, shot, he the building, he did I mean, he's the definitely, there's no he doubt he's smarter than Katakuri. Like, Katakuri's not dumb. He's a smart character, but, like, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind he's smarter than Katakuri. It just depends on the will that win it for him. Shows him holding on to a plane, flying. <laughs> I mean, casually, uh, he seems to be hey, look at it. I mean, he's just kicking back. <laughs> I mean, he's not fucking three-fingering it. Uh, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last panel shows you he can make any part of his body adhe- adhesive. Right. Like, you I see mean, him leaning yeah, up against figures. the wall, upside that down. Makes sense. Paper. Oh, that actually is interesting, because I don't think spiders can do that. <laughs> nope, but he can. He Oof. can make any part of his body adhesive. Fuck. So, I mean, he's literally a sticky guy, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Again, that is interesting because they both use sticky shit. Uh, now, I wonder how stick v stick would work in this instance. Like, would it be because Mochi's probably a different stick than Spider Web? Oh, I'm sure there'll be different tactile uh, ability. However, mm. it's hard to say for sure. Mm, yeah. All right. So, on top of that, I've got more that I'm going to send here, and I'm going to send these in a batch as well right now. Uh, while I'm getting them ready to send, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about his webbing. So, uh, and this is just his standard webbing. Uh, so his webbing is shown to not be able to be cut by swords. Um, so, of course, it's also fireproof. So he's designed mm-hmm. it with the ability to resist fire. Actually, I want to say it's actually fireproof. Yeah, it's actually fireproof. And he throws it into an actual fireplace. Hmm. So his webbing has the tactile ability to contain rockets. So it literally a rocket explosion goes off and he uses the web to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nullify it, to absorb it. it yeah. mm-hmm. um, it's extremely flexible and strong. Uh, let's see. He's able to use it to stop a giant ball of debris that Thor throws. And I'm going to use that scan here right now. Hmm. So he his webbing is so strong he uses it to keep a building from falling down. Like he mm, literally yep. holds it and holds it up. It's able to, of course, handle the strain of holding up a giant crane. So I mean, literally, you did not send all these already, by the way. Just in case you don't, or you actually talked about these earlier in the video: the crane, the building. Some of them, but I've got different different shots of them as well in different okay. scenarios. Um, on top of that, he's also able to use it to stop a gigantic wall of water. Really? Show me that. I think I did show you this last time we talked about. Oh this yeah, because I, I mentioned the fact that Luffy uh, had punched punched a hole in, in a wave point as well, like a pretty big wave. And not only is it a strong webbing, it's extremely accurate in his hands. Like, he's able to uh, hit the muzzle of an Uzi, so just a tiny little Uzi, to stop bullets on there. Mm-hmm. Now, I do want to point out that I do feel like Katakuri could do stuff like that as well with his with his um, precog, as, as I showed you with the whole, like, knowing exactly where Luffy was going to be. And, and like, we've, we've seen him use his precog to kind of, like, 
shoot where people are going to be, know where people are going to be, like you know, stuff like that. So I, 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 I think he'd probably be able to match that at the very least. Okay. So on top of that, not only is it versatile in the ways that I just talked about, he also creates many objects with his web and does just some outstanding, ridiculous things. Um, to give you an idea of some of the things he's done, he's used it to create a slingshot to send him multiple blocks in an instant. So he literally slingshots himself mm -hmm. with the web to send him flying. On top of that, he was able to make a web raft. He uses a web cushion, of course, so that he can break falls. Although the, sh the scene is showing him in his black outfit, it's still his web cartridges that do it. So I do okay. want to specify that. That's fine. He's created things like a web glider. I mean, he literally can create unimaginable amounts of things. Like, he literally just makes all sorts of different things. Not only that, his webbing is incredibly strong. It's the equivalent of a uh, steel thread webbed mm. together. That's, of course, stop bullets. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I've got scenes for all of this as well. Um, he makes, he can use his webbing as, like, a weapon, so he can throw little ball webs at people. And it's literally like throwing a ball of steel at them. Now, do you remember that... Um... Uh, with that hockey as well is is said to make you like it's hard as steel as well. So right, right, yeah. And he has like a harder version of it. So yeah, of course. All right, now, now let me go ahead and send all of these. Wanna, as you're sending those, um, I think that because of how long it's been, I I think are are we to the point where we should start getting to like the part where we're, we kind of debate a bit and then throw it to David, or what are you thinking? Because I don't want it to be too long here. You're right. I mean, it. I'm up with that. Was and there any other thing that David was, makes his decision? I have one more thing to send that will not affect it hopefully fine i mean i figure we just we'll just go through i'd like to go through the the categories one by one and debate now like now is the time where we're like okay. back and forth thing for a bit it. we back and forth and then throw it to david you know so like we kind of like say strength who's better speed you know shit like that right and then we'll let david decide on each one and then we'll go ahead and do a final tally kind of thing yeah okay so let's go ahead and start with striking strength we've seen the scans we've seen what they can do i'd like to let david Kind of take the wheel on this from here. Okay, David. Yeah, okay, one second while I check, take a look at these uh, scans here. Well, here, do you want us to do we argue at first or, or, or like? Yeah, uh, like, uh, you guys go over a few things because there's a couple categories where I'm a little bit torn. So, so here's what. So I guess I'll just. So I'm trying to remember. So striking strength. I think, like I said, the the best things that I had for striking were he out punched a Luffy who punched a giant who was able to withstand a, like a 10,000 pound thing falling on it. He, um, he was able to uh, match that punch that sent Do Flamingo absolutely flying across the city. Um, you know, and, uh, and you see how big the punch is, you, you this building level punch. Um, uh, you know, so I mean, like, he, I'd say he's like large building level. Uh, well, no, not even, he's large building level and he's also definitely at the level where he could punch someone and send them through multiple, like a whole fucking town. You know, like, like he's, because he, he, again, he took a punch, well, he, not he took a punch, he, he, um, he clashed with a punch that sent someone from the top of a mountain down through, like, a town, like, and, uh, and I sent that one before, um, Noble, if you remember correctly, um, yep. and I will put that in the, uh, in the video as well, but, like, so, so I suppose, like, for punching strength, that's what I have for, for, uh, Katakuri, and, uh, what do you think Spider-Man has to match that? Punching strength. Well, like, Spider Man, of course, he did knock someone out who, again, tanked in a rocket launcher to the face. So he knocked the dude out that okay. literally. I would argue that a rocket launcher wouldn't send someone flying through a city uh, or, or like. He, like I said, he's also punched with power greater than a mortar, and a mortar would send someone flying quite a ways. I don't know if it would send him all the way through the city. And mm -hmm. then I, I also sent one, I didn't talk about it, but I did send him, send one of him punching Venom through a street and literally through steel ripping ripping up the ground like literally like a crater mm. and i'll resend it real quick just in case mm. it got yeah, and i'm hoping that you're you're t you're closely looking at these yes i am um right, cool. i'm resending it right now anyways uh for the last one that i was just talking about with venom let's see if i can't pull it up here real fast okay okay so here's Here's a here's a punch that, that okay so here's a punch that Katakuri was able to to casually clash, casually casually clash and, and outmatched with. 
Okay. That, 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 that's what it did to the previous villain before him. So, you know, just to give you an idea. Well, I mean, I've said what I've got for Spider-Man's punching force versus Katakuri's punching force. I'm going to leave it up to David. Uh, okay. So, Katakuri was able to casually clash with this. Utter nonsense. <laughs> I mean, like I said, that's why I kind of left it to David. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking anime logic. Manga logic, hey, man. Oh, please, Marvel logic. Destroying stars. <laughs> like it's just insanely close how how these two characters are. This was a perfect debate. Um for the punching strength, I'm gonna to have to give a slight edge to Katakuri. Okay, that's fair. Only because and, and just to be to be totally fair here, like I think that you know, because you're you're taking away Spider Man's main weapon at that point, like like the web. You know, it's just punching. Yeah, I think it's, it's really obvious difficult. that Kata Curry will edge out. Like once you add the web, it's a different fucking story. Clearly. Um, so let's move on to actual full on strength then. Pure so again, strength, I gave it to ahead. Spidey automatically because of the utter nonsense with the whole. Um, if you scroll back up to the strength with. Especially one that you sent when we were uh, talking about this with him holding up with the webs, uh, the, the the building, piece the of building. Okay, that I'm alone. I got. I'm thinking through if there's anything I have, but I you, I could probably concede to that. Just, if there's anything else I have here, um, strength. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you know, Kata Kata does not do a lot of lifting strength feats, so yeah, I will concede that. All right. Uh, so are you? Are you hoping you're marking this down, David? Like you're yes, I am. Tallying? All right, cool. Um, no, speed, oh, and speed. Pre -cog. Oh. speed pre cog shit is actually. You know what? Let's save that one for last because that's going to probably be one of the deciding factors. Let's let's actually uh, equipment. Okay. First, so okay. so you want to do yeah. web versus pretty much category spear. Do you want to include his mochi in that? I web mean, versus can... mochi. Is yeah, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, this is an interesting one. So. As you, what I will say about his mochi, as I've shown you, is that I, you know, he, the, what awakening can do is that it affects surrounding areas and turns it into your element. So he could definitely, you know, like let's say Spider Man swinging on a building, I, he could definitely turn that building into mochi and use it against him. Um, think like waves of mochi coming at him. Um, and and, and it, I might, my, 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 my unlimited oh, mochi, whereas Spider Man is limited by his web capacity mm -hmm. by his web no obviously he's um yeah. the most you know anything he does with his, what does with his devil fruit comes at a cost he uses his stamina as fuel um but as i've stated his you know he fought luffy in a pretty balls to the wall fight for i'll get the exact number and put it on screen here well, um, somewhere it, it, it was hours, eight correct? it's somewhere between eight to ten hours it's great yeah um when it comes down to it spider-man's web probably may or may not last that long but his web is much more versatile. He can mm -hmm. do a lot more with it. He can create. I can believe you. I absolutely believe that. Yeah. Like I said, he can he can literally use it to slingshot himself away from danger or towards mm -hmm. danger, whichever he mm -hmm. needs. I mean, he can create a glider with it. He can create a parachute with it. A mount versus versatility. Fuck. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's got. To, he's going to be limited, but that also would play into his battle tactics and how he utilizes it. Mm -hmm. Which I think is one of his main he's fucking MacGyvering. He's fucking MacGyvering. Yep. Yeah. See that that's the other part of this uh, equipment edge that I'm torn with, because if we're doing this battle like we had decided when we uh, actually created this in uh, like New York, um, the the shape of the battle would kind of turn. A little more in favor of Spider-Man because. Versus, uh, we just did it in but I do feel like Katakuri could be turning these fucking buildings into mochi, yes. and not only does that add more shit to him, but that's less building. But that, he's still got a limited range on his ability to do that. Spider-Man's range with his web is pretty damn exactly. far. Exactly, and the fact that Spider-Man can actually, you know, slingshot himself across the city to MacGyver some bullshit. <laughs> 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 That, that's what tears me on this category. Divering um, bullshit. I mean, the question is, yeah, he might run out of it eventually, but what will he come up with some new shit? Attack? I was gonna say with the deciding attack and deciding flexibility of his of his web, which he doesn't have to use the whole time either. 
It's not like he's going to go guns in, spray all of his web in five minutes, you know? No, he's, he's, obviously. I wouldn't expect him to. I wouldn't expect him to. So, so I mean, it's the really way this I, I see the, the way I see this bit playing out is Spider-Man realizing what a threat Katakuri is to him slingshotting himself away from danger to build something to incapacitate Katakuri long enough to drain his stamina, potentially mm -hmm. weakening him. That's oh, and uh, do, that aspect playing out. Yeah. Also oh. keep in mind that one of the, one of the, yeah, the two exploitable weaknesses would be either draining his stamina or um, for his hockey, he does need to be focused. So, like, if you're, like, flustering him or, or like, yeah, getting him... Which is, is, which is Spider-Man's strength, is his yes. sarcasm. And that's actually <laughs> the last clip that I was going to send, but I'm going to send a couple of those. And, God forbid, if Katakuri's face is exposed, <laughs> Spider-Man will lay into that. Oh, fucking A, yeah. No, so, do keep in mind though that like he wouldn't, um, he wouldn't obviously like know that it would be. But if he came in, you know, he wouldn't know that he was self conscious about it unless he was obvious about it. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good point though. God damn it. Um, well, I guess I guess the last because question the minute is, his so, mask came or his face was exposed and and the fight, he mm -hmm. lost focus. Yeah, he did lose focus for a bit, but to be fair, he, you know, he lost focus for a bit. Luffy got some hits on him, and then he regained, and he was like, "Okay, you got some hits on me. It's not gonna happen again." You know, and, exactly. And, and he, and but he that would went be back to that could potentially be right. long enough right. for Spider-Man to uh, utilize Katakuri's little phasing ability of his mochi to plant some device in him to mm. incapacitate him. MacGyvering bullshit, motherfucker. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's decide a winner for equipment. Um, okay, well, so I guess um, the the Katakuri's um, advantage in um, amount it's not enough to uh, overcome Spider Man's MacGyvering bullshit, I suppose. <laughs> I I actually concur there. Uh, uh, this one will go to Spider Man. How about battle tactics and adaptability? See, that one's another one I was quite torn on. The adaptability of Spider Man. Especially with what all his web can do. Mm -hmm. And his intelligence and ability <laughs> to adapt. And the... Like, with multiple his, calculations to take out a load-bearing wall. Just enough so that it exactly. would not collapse off the building with just that portion. Mm -hmm. And, and or, it is true that he's very MacGyvering, but I do feel let's, let's not forget. Like, crazy. It, you know, if you're given a fucking power where you're mochi, right? Like, you know, the the man made it his own. Like, he's got, he's so many things he can fucking do with it. You know, and he's done some clever shit. <laughs> like, yeah, fucking yeah, creating he's done a... some clever yeah. shit. And that's... I'll give him that. The, uh, the ability to make the environment into his weapon is what kind of tore me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, how do you feel, David? I, I'm going to give a slight edge to Katakuri on this one. Okay. Because he can mold the battlefield in his own will here. To his own will here. Um, as for the intelligence aspect of it, I do think no, it's no more... Doubt. No it, doubt, Spider. It's more I'm, Spidey. Yeah. He's okay. fucking genius, clearly. And so what does that leave us with? Uh, the the uh, that final leaves us fucking... With I got a precog. The precog. Pre and yes. durability... Oh, durability. Um, well, okay, so durability, as I've said, you know, he's taking these punches that are fucking, you know, 10,000 pounds of force and the fuck send people across the thing. So, I mean, yeah. like, however Spider-Man can... Uh, Spider-Man's taking so. quite a few hits like that as well. I mean, they're they're pretty... I would honestly... I would oh, break yeah. I think I think when we discussed this earlier, we, we agreed that they were pretty on durability, didn't we? Yeah, they're, I mean, they're very we, close on durability. I do not know if Spidey has ever lasted 10 hours in a single battle. Ding ding. Yep. Okay. Um, I, as far as I'm aware of in the comics, that has not been the case. I think the longest was his one of his bouts with the Sinister Six, um, but that was also with some slight assistance. So, well, there's a lot of team ones as well where he was in the battle for many hours. But again, that's a team based, team, so that's exactly. not so. Much. Okay. So I'm going to give slight edge and durability to kind of Curry. And just the fact that he's made, made being made out of mochi helps a lot. Exactly. Okay. I can yeah. agree with that. 
So I guess, and, and you gotta so have. So right now final it's fucking punching speed precog time. Oh, unless there's more. Sorry. So it's far it's punching. Right. Or what do we got, David? Go ahead. Uh, punching was to fucking. I believe I said Kata Curry. Mm-hmm. Uh, the pure strength is to Spider Man. Durability to Kata Curry. Uh, equipment to Spider Man. The battle tactics. Uh, to cut a curry. And we have versatility, adaptability, a slight edge to uh, cut a curry, but I, that was before I saw the uh, the whole fucking Spidey riding on a goddamn jet plane. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, man. Add it to, add it to Spider-Man. Then, yeah. yeah. That, <laughs> that one, uh, gave, <laughs> that one there is some bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh so now we're at the the speed and pre-com- we inte- pre-com- i think intelligence you gave to spider-man too oh my god or did that go with adaptability or i don't know dude this is right now a fucking tie that's okay so we've got speed and precog left <laughs> <laughs> uh, kill me don't worry, I've got a tiebreaker if it comes down to it. No, okay. fuck you and your Good. tiebreaker. Fuck your tiebreaker. Um, oh, oh, okay, no, I, I assumed it was going to be some bullshit. I've got so. the heaviest gun possible for a tiebreaker if it comes yeah. down to me. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so um, fucking pre shit, right? So what I'll say is when you look at what I said. How okay, far so you remember ahead, this. do you – this is how I'll do the, the pre-cog. Mm-hmm. Because Spidey's, yeah, that's what I'm Spidey's is insane, right? But Kata Curry's appears to be just as insane. So how far in advance do you think that, yeah. that first appearance from Kata Curry was? That, that was what I was going to say. Right. So here, let me let me get that back up here. And we can kind of discuss that. Uh, does that I'm going to break it down a little bit better. Um, Kata Curry actually sees the future, whereas Spider-Man just in- instinctually knows what's going on. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and talk about Spider's limits right now because. So, okay, before you do that, do you mind if I just clarify this real quick? So yeah, go I'm going to read. I'm going to read this out, and I want you and David to just cons- just think in your head how how long this would take, right? So you have an assa- assassin shows up, and he's like, "I had to attend my mother's funeral, and that's what I wrote." You know, he, she's basically like, "You killed my mother, and I'm going to come here and kill you, kill you, blah blah." Right? So then, boom, he shoots him, and this is what Katakuri says. This is how that exchange would have went. And do you know what she sent me? The head of my father, who should have been in the hospital. I'm here to get revenge. Open the gates. Then he would have fired. Bang, bang. And two of your subordinates would have been shot dead. So, how far do you think in the future that is? I'm assuming anywhere between 30 and 60 seconds. Well, uh, no, I, I disagree. I, I th- 30 seconds for just for just that sentence? I, I can see 10 to 15. <laughs> for the entirety of this ordeal. Oh. The reaction time and his discussion, I'm saying, is about 30 seconds. So, about 15 seconds into the future, he's able to see, judging off of this, mm. and then the ability to mitigate a, a further backlash of 15 mm-hmm. seconds. And I will say, too, that, like, I think that during combat, when you're, like, in combat and it's boom, 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 I think that number goes down a bit to like probably like maybe five seconds or so exactly. because like I don't think you know like like I think that one that takes a lot more concentration to you know I to think that constantly be able to adapt to the situation would take mm-hmm. a lot more. So not only do I think it takes more concentration so he sees less but also people are mo- and that's when people are legitimately trying to move fast and trying to catch you off guard this exactly. is casual ass conversation so I think it's so I think that you know I think that it Battle does come sense, down to the fact maybe that, five to ten and mm-hmm. Potentially, you know, casual yeah. fifteen to twenty. And this isn't just numbers I'm pulling out of my ass either, because like at, from at, from reading a fight, like a ten to fifteen chapter fight, not no, it was almost like a twenty chapter fight with Luffy, right? You can kind of see what Luffy dodges, what Luffy doesn't, what he dodges, what he doesn't, right? And you can kind of start to get a sense of like, okay, that seems around like I would say it seems like sometimes like a, a, a five second thing, exactly. like when he's like real on, yeah, real on his game. It seems like he's like. Because there's even points where um, there's a point uh, near the end of the chapter where Luffy's like, Luffy, Luffy, what Luffy says is like, 
I will finish it with this if you allow me to. As in, like, like I have a new form, and he's, like, asking him, are you okay with me going to the form, right? Before he even says, he said, Luffy says, I will finish me with this. And then he starts to say, if you will allow me to. And before, and before he does, he's like, you idiot, you already know the answer. You know, so shit like that. Mm-hmm. You, know, you also have moments where... um the, the chapter ends with Luffy going gear fourth, but the page before he goes gear fourth, Katakuri is like, ooh, gear fourth? That's interesting. You know, so shit like that. Like, Exactly. So it, it's... I'm going to give the precog to him. I'm going to concede the precog over spider spider sense because it's not completely infallible. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a, actually a scene, and I'm going to use this, and I know I shouldn't use it against myself, but I'm going to. Because... Oh, I, I've, I've used things against I mean, like, he was trying to... David was trying to say 30 to 60, and I was like, no, bullshit. It's, you and I aren't Thurman. We're fucking... Integral, integral about this. So this this that I just sent shows his spider sense going off, but he doesn't know exactly where the danger is. Mm. He's drugging him. The fucking Statue of Liberty. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have expected that either. <laughs> so, like I said, I mean, it literally is. I, I'm gonna have to go ahead and concede it over to. Uh, That's what I was thinking uh, originally before we even brought this up. Um, mm-hmm. because of the whole first meeting of Katakuri mm-hmm. alone. Um, the now, reason just I said 30 seconds is I was in, interpreting oh, the entirety of the uh, the exchange there from beginning mm-hmm. to end. Um, right. And like I said, I can agree to that. So I think all we have left is the speed aspect. Exactly. I feel like, I almost feel like speed and precog are, are like, oh, I guess, I don't know, it's hard to say. Because like, if you're that good at precog, at that point, what does speed become? <laughs> For Spider-Man, even when he tried to get read Spider-Man's, or that person tried to read Spider-Man's mind, he was still acting on instinct and fast. I think Spider-Man might have the edge. Fair, on his- but but keep in mind that he's not he's not seeing the future by reading your mind. He's seeing the future no, by but- it's observation as an observation, uh, observing light, living thing. So but he, as he tries like- to attack Spider-Man and where he thinks Spider-Man will be. Spider-Man still has the ability to react to that attack. That's true, and, and Luffy actually did similar things. Actually, that was actually because Luffy Luffy does that similar thing, right? Um, so where what he would try to have to do is be like, attack. Okay, you're gonna dodge to that, dodge to that, dodge to that, right? Like, um, that's why he wasn't able to hit Luffy all the time. Luffy was doing a very similar thing. So you're right. I think that's that he would be dodging. He would overwhelm him with his speed, because his speed is just unbelievably insane. Hmm. His speed also. And this is where this one gets a little bit trickier. Uh, so you think Spider- also, oh, sorry, go ahead. his speed also uh, ties into his equipment because he will s- utilize the web to maneuver himself as well. So here, let me clarify something then. So, so I make sure. So I just want. So you have, you think that, uh, um, so Luffy who speed blitzed a dude who remember the dude that reacted to a point Blake meteor in his face. He mm-hmm. speed blitzed that guy, and then he used an even faster version of that attack, plus with the added on thing where it changes the direction to mix you up, and where he's like dancing around that shit. Is Spider Man faster than that? Is Spider Man faster than a dude that? Can... I think the other portion of it is Spider Man will overwhelm him to the point where it will hurt his precog. It may not take it away completely, but I think it will diminish it. I can believe that. And like I said, when you're talking about speed reaction, all of that, Spider-Man, and that's more what his spider sense is. It's more. Do you think Spider-Man could react and like attempt? I mean, not even just can he stop a meteor? Can he react to a meteor? Absolutely. Okay. So. <sighs> hmm. Now, okay. Then I guess so. So you're. Are are we all in agreement that Spider Man speed wise is definitely faster than him? Then even even with uh, all the the Black Mamba, because I think the black him black dodging the Black Mamba is a real, real big thing to me. You remember the the, the panel I'm talking about when I say that? Yeah. Way, uh, uh, see, the only issue is we don't know exactly how fast that is. Well, we know it's faster it's falling, than I mean, fast a meteor it's falling. Three feet per second. Say what? Because that's gravity. That's gravity speed. Okay, well, and how, how fast is it? terminal velocity, 33 feet per second. Okay, okay. Which is not fast in a lot of aspects. I mean, it's fast, but it's not... Right, new, right, right. these characters have moved. Fair enough. Um, okay. Uh, uh, so, so give me, just give me, like, 
one or two of like the best speed feats for for this Spider-Man, just so I can get a grasp on what you know speed for him. Dodging bullets. Um, I mean, oh, well, he's he's Connor Curry's reacted to bullets. Like, like, yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, okay, so make sure. bare basic, bare bare minimum there. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see if I can get a really good speed beat here for you. A few moments. Other other. Since Luffy was trying like his hardest with Katakuri, I should find like best Luffy feats, speed feats for that. Uh, watches a building collapse in slow motion and reacts to it. Um, mm. Again, he's time to him is a little bit slower. Okay, well here's the thing, right? So can can um, Spider Man could he could he like react to lightning speed shit? Because Luffy did fight a dude that that could use lightning at one point, and that was a long time ago. Mm, yeah, because he can leave after images. So okay, that's I just want to make sure. I, I can believe him doing lightning, but I do. I, Katakuri would definitely be able to react to lightning. Shit. So, especially with his pre cog. So. I was going to say, hasn't he basically dodged Thor many, 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 many times? Oh, absolutely. Okay, okay. I'm going to send one more right now, real quick, of just him after imaging and taking out a group of thugs. This is fucking stupid, even. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's tied at this point. And that's okay, because I have a tiebreaker, okay? What is the tiebreaker? Well, first I have to hear David officially announce it's tied, and then I will drop the tiebreaker. All right, so we are at four categories to four categories. Uh, The pure strength, the speed, the equipment, and the versatility and adaptability to Spider-Man. Punching, durability, precog, and the battle tactics and intelligence category overall to Katakuri. I do think that Spider-Man has the edge and the intelligence. Um, If we drop that down as its own category, it would be a Spider-Man victory. Here's the after me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Now, I'm going to go ahead and break this tie real quick in something that Katakuri could never do. Ugh. Yeah, this is it's about it's about to get super real. Like I said, I'm dropping the big bomb. <laughs> Katakuri might have some impressive feats, but does he have? I knew it was gonna be something stupid. A butt like this, Spider-Man. Okay. Is- <laughs> it's uh, what, fucking. Have scans to prove it. Scans to prove it. That his ass is good. Yes. On multiple occasions. Okay. <laughs> you know let me find, let me find, I'll, I'll find a Kata Curry ass shot to compare. But do do people compliment his ass? That's the question. Because Spider-Man gets lots of ass compliments. You no, know, he, he has not gotten that. any ass compliments. What, what he has gotten is a bunch of like... Kata Curry wears a robe. Nobody sees it. Spider-Man does not. Ball- Kata Curry, he, he may not get ass compl- uh, compliments, but he does have like harems of women that are like, Oh, Kata Curry, you're so cool. <laughs> So, I mean, he yeah. does have a literal <laughs> fucking talk about his ass in yeah. the comments that they don't. Spider Man wins. Okay, that's bullshitting bullshit. aside. <laughs> bullshitting aside, if we do drop the intelligence, this would be a Spider Man W. Uh, because if we drop that to his own category, because obviously Katakuri's smart, but he's not, not genius level smart. intellect. Obviously, here. Yeah. I say we leave it up to the fans. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Open poll. Well, here's the problem. We don't have we have lurker fans that wa- we have lurker views. We never have comment views. <laughs> if we put it in Planet Unity for an open poll, mm-hmm. maybe no, because then it'll just get trolled to hell and back. Yeah. Here's what I'll say. Closed poll. I, no, listen, listen. Here's what I'll say. Okay. I can concede to Spider-Man just because of how stu- it's the stupid MacGyver shit that gets me right. Like, that's what honestly makes me think that... Because this fucking Spider-Man would be like, oh, I came up with fucking... I'm out of... Because even, let's say he runs out of web, he'd come up with some other shit. You know he would. And the other thing I was going to bring up, but I left out, is he also fights Clayface, who is basically a mud character. The character is mm-hmm. made out of mud, utilizes mud. Okay. Adap- I'm sorry, not Clayface, uh, Sandman. Sandman. Yeah, who he utilizes sand, sand and uh, adapts it. Now, with that being said, and I'm going to give Red a chance to insta-win, and if he had done his research on Spider-Man, 
He might have known this. Spider-Man was actually killed by Sandman once. It was actually during the zombie Spider-Man, I'm sorry, zombie Marvel Universe thing. Sandman saw all the zombies coming back. He sees Spider-Man come out staggering, not knowing Spider-Man is not a zombie and thinks Spider-Man is a zombie. So he goes to kill Spider-Man by turning into sand, filling Spider-Man up with himself and exploding (laughs) Spider-Man. I have that comic, by the way. So that could have been a kill move if you had thought of using something along those lines. Okay. It's the kill. Fair. Fair thought. Um, I'll give you that. Okay, listen, listen. listen. Okay. I like the thought, but i got to be honest. I've seen Katakuri fight for long enough. It's not something he'd do. So I don't think – like, I like the idea. I don't (laughs) think he'd ever do it. (laughs) No, I – from what I've read of that arc so far – Katakuri yeah. is more of an honorable fighter. Yeah, he is definitely an honorable fighter. Like, he, he's he's that honorable, like, you know, we're, I'm not going to cheat you. You're not going to cheat me. You I, know mean, what I mean, when yeah. he, when the Luffy was essentially cheap shotted by the yeah, yeah, exactly. Katakuri injured himself mm-hmm. as an honor so wound. Luffy, Luffy okay. got sniped during their fight, right? Like, he got sniped uh, and it distracted Luffy for long enough for him to get a. Like a like a basically like a stomach like a chunk of his stomach. Oh, he has the honor. And Spider Man was also a very honorable character as well. Uh, yeah, I figured he was. Doing multiple things, you know, great power, great responsibility. Mm-hmm. Uh, David, I'm going to leave this one up to you. What do you think? I what I did is I dropped the intelligence from the battle tactics because I really do think they were deserve to be two separate categories. Honestly, yep. I think. Uh, I, yeah, go ahead, sir. So intelligence wise, I obviously the edge goes to Spider Man. Which makes us five categories to four categories, uh, with a edge to Spider Man. I'm gonna say, and here's how I see this battle going out, right? I think it would be a very, very even battle, but the edge would be given to Spider Man simply off of some MacGyver shit he did. I really think that that's what it would get it for him. His his pure intelligence, some realization that he can do something differently. To adapt, yep. or you think he'll adapt before Katakuri would adapt to something? I agree, and because I, I think it would be something like, um, like I could even see this battle going on for quite a while. Maybe Spider-Man running on a web, but then because he's so smart, he because he ran out of web, he found a different route, a different way. Yeah, and then that route leads into the victory. So yeah, that, and of course his fantastic ass. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's my my play by play. I I see initially Spider-Man reactionarily slingshotting himself across New York to try to get some distance to gauge Katakuri's moveset. That way, expending about possibly a quarter of a cartridge, um, probably not even close to that, judging by what level of the fucking grade of the webbing he has, because let's be realistic here, he's adapted that multiple, multiple times throughout the storylines. Um, with that and letting um, Katakuri utilize some of his bullshit moves with all the mochi bullshit, um, potentially knocking quite a few buildings down, exposing some rubble that Spider-Man could potentially MacGyver some bullshit, making some sort of explosive device to kind of incapacitate Katakuri long enough to drain quite a bit of his stamina, which is the fuel of his power here. Mm -hmm. And then with that continuously making Katakuri destroy parts of New York to actually incapacitate him long yeah. enough for S.H.I.E.L.D. to cart his ass away. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was he? <laughs> so we're giving it to Spider-Man then for yeah. this one? Yep. Just on pure, I very, you know, intelligence wins the day for him on this one. Yeah, it I'm really a- does. His intelligence and his ability to MacGyver all this fucking bullshit gas. That's the big thing, honestly, yeah. Hey, we said it was going to be a close one, and I, oh, I, think, good. I think that was very fitting for our midseason. It really was. Um, thanks for tuning in, and until that next time, peace. Woo.